Sheep fans, thanks for all the support while I've been away. I've not been away, I've just not posted any videos, but it's away to you guys, and I keep getting messages asking if I'm okay, if Lizzie's okay, everything's fine with me, with her, with the baby. We're just flat out shearing, she's flat out shepherding, and this is the first morning, night and morning. We got rained off yesterday afternoon, and it's a late start this morning, so I have a chance to make this video for you. It's edited, ready to go, you're about to see it. Thanks to everyone who's been supporting the channel throughout my lack of videos, including everyone that's bought some merchandise from the store, and of course Heiniger for supporting this run of shearing videos. We've had a great season so far. I know I look totally different just now to what you're about to see. It was filmed about a month ago, and I've had a lot of days in the sun, a lot of sweating, lost a bit of weight, but we're fit, we're healthy, we're enjoying the summer. Don't worry about it, guys. Thanks for the support. Enjoy this video. And also, if you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing day in day out, take a look at my Instagram. I post updates there quite regular. All things shearing, mostly, this time of year. Enjoy the video. Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name, sheep's the game. You might notice, I've got a little bit of a sweat on already. We're at a shearing course today, advanced shearing with Robbie Hislop Shearing School. We have a good group of shearers today, all with a good bit of experience, in the kind of range of 200 to 350 a day for most of the boys. And we're all here to learn something more from Robbie and Andy who are taking the course. I always get excited going on a shearing course because there's always something more I can learn. There's a lot of work I need to do to get my shearing better and days like this are key to improvement. I really do say to every shearer, unless you're doing 500 a day easy, there's something you can learn and guys like Robbie and Andy are here to teach us. So today we are going to be shearing some North Crunchy Cheviot hogs, some Blackface hogs and some Scotch Mule hogs. So a real good variety because there is slightly different techniques for slightly different sheep. Instructors today on the course are of course Mr Robbie Hislop, Robbie Hislop Shearing School being his YouTube page, check that out. Next up we have Mr Andy Bailey who is the host at this event today. He's organised all the sheep, provided the shed and one of these fantastic trailers here. Andy's an open shearer, he's made many national finals. Now there's four grades of shearing in the UK. There's the junior, the intermediate, the senior and the open. Now Andy's been all the way up through them and he's in the open category. Very good competitive shearer. He'll be at the Highland Show this year and he's here teaching us some things today. So lots to learn, good instructors on the course. Let's see the boys teaching us a few things. Let's go. Spine's curved, so you're holding it with your legs and your shoulders there. Head as relaxed as possible, and you're there. You're not stretching. Then see how I'm just pulling it in? So I'm over, so the next ball can come in there. If you want, then we can go around the back of the head and we can start the process of popping it out. But see how that's... So, I'll do it again. So popping it out, you just tipped it to the side. I'm just making space, you can put your heel, heel out to let that shoulder just rub past. I prefer just to go on my side of a foot using this and it's popped out there. Yeah. So I'm still got a point of contact here. Right, yeah. And then I sink my ass down, come round. As I'm coming round, I'm moving my knees together, more together, 
so that it's this knee that's doing that right. as you come in here, so you're not on the sheep. If she kicks, yes, you can get down on with your nuts. Blow, blow, and then we're coming round. Coming round. Foot was up good on the last side. Sometimes the pay, pays to leave that gap so you can rock it in this way. Yeah, maybe. Right. Yep, so she's there. If you bring the foot up there, you're still there. You do that, you rock it in, it's opened it up a bit more. It's got a cheek, cheek. And this is the part here you're struggling. Yeah, I'll step back. Step back. I get left. I'm about lifting it in. Yeah, don't, don't think about lifting it too much because it's already should be up. Yeah. Just think about bending her into there. And then bring that in there and we're here. You've got control that way. You smoothed it off. See, then you can just put your weight on here or we'll step out. And that's where I go from the back being this shape. Yep. Stick my ass out, like so, under, then down, yep. straight down, down and out. Yep. Right, so then you're standing there at the tail and you've already got this open. So then you foot back, you go up the backbone, forward. Just a, a wee... Pull the foot back as you get up, then adjust your feet. And that takes that away as well. Yeah. We're getting caught. Then she's facing that way, so then you'll get up the board as I was telling you. And she just rolls over. And away you go. Whereas you're hacking about in there, then you're going away forward here. And this dropper swinging away. You know, you're in here. Whereas you want to be up there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right, yeah, I'll let you finish it. So you just have to make sure you throw it around. Aye. Enough. Well, your feet should be going, but didn't undermine. A lot of folk think you need to get these feet away so you can get up this backbone. But they end up turning in here and they kind of get that to bend around them. Yeah. And they're not getting anywhere. Whereas you walk that way, walk your feet into it, yeah. but then you pull your feet away and you're. Yeah. And all of a sudden you're. And that. that dropper there is just doing all the work, it's just going right up there. Yeah. The sheep's facing, so rather than trying to uh, try to hook that you know, up over, yeah. she's sitting there, all she has to do is roll over that backbone. Yeah. You know, you, you can do it with your legs, you don't even need to do it with you. Yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah, right, on you go. It's all about saving your body, because once you're 40, you're <laughs> Okay, so I'm here with Robbie Hislop from Robbie Hislop Shearing School. Obviously your course today, Robbie. We did this video last year. Things have moved on a bit since then. Your YouTube channel's getting quite popular. Yes. Mine is getting reasonably popular as well. We're both sort of chipping away at things. How's it been? How's the shearing been this year? It's been all right, aye. It's been a bit slow this year. It's been yep. colder, not as warm. Yeah. But the courses have been really popular. Yeah. Yeah, you've sold out almost aye. every course you've done, is that right? Yeah, sell out really quick as well. And how many courses are you putting on this year? Um, six. Six. Six courses so far. I'll probably be, might do squeeze in one more. We'll yeah. See. But that's a lot of shearers through, and yeah, it'll be a hundred shearers maybe somewhere around about there. Good effort. In total. Is that right? No, 50. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it, I'm trying to work that out, like six courses, aren't you? <laughs> aye, 50 is still pretty good though, eh? Aye, it'll be about 50, yeah. Aye, still pretty good going. It's alright, aye. So, aye, so a lot of shearers. Good. It's good to see that people are so keen, like I think there has been a real uptake, I think with the British Rule Board courses as well, I think they're nearly all fully booked. Yep. Yourself, you're aye. putting the course up and it's booking out so fast. Yes. It's great to see the appetite for them. People booking in for next year. Aye. If they put my name down for next year, I'm, go I'm going to be a shearer. Brilliant. And actually, that is actually really good to see so many people so keen, and hopefully, you know, 
social media content and things are helping boost the popularity of it and for people to see it really is a great way to, to make money, to network, to get around the world and see people and obviously the good thing for me is it's a great way to lose a wee bit of weight I've had a you too Robbie we've we'll had we'll easy winters we've we'll had well. we'll easy winters so obviously a really popular course this one I did it last year learned a lot and again today we've already been sharing a fair bit before you see this clip we've, we've been sharing a fair bit we're sort of three quarters of the way through the day now and there are a couple of big massive tips for me when I'm stepping up that neck I came here today within my head that I was really struggling with that stepping up the neck and of course the great thing is, I just say to Robbie and Andy as well, they're both very able. I say to them, this is my bit that I'm really struggling with. Plenty of bits need work, but I like to just point out the bit that's wrong. Not that it's hard for you to know, no, it's hard to not notice how wrong it is. But Robbie will just look at it, look at what I'm doing. And it was a simple thing like turning my foot in, as I'll, I'll show you in a, a little while. Tiny wee thing, yeah. A simple thing, like turning my foot into the sheep at a certain point while I'm shearing. Just making a world of difference now for yeah. my shearing. Make a difference on quarter of the sheep sort of thing. Yeah, that, 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 yeah, that whole first shoulder, I was all over the place, couldn't get around the back of the sheep's head. Now with this simple tip, and it's like I say all the time, it's like that's one tip. I'm taking a day out of my shearing, out of my work to come and do this, to you know invest in a course with Robbie. And some people, I know there's lots of shearers that are working away at 300 sheep a day and they're quite happy at that. And probably struggling away at that, and they're quite, but they're, they're happy. But you come in a course like this with Robbie, you know, invest in this, those Maybe. wee tips. Yeah. You'll be happier. You'll be happier. <laughs> yeah, but like I could add, it's all about making it easy. Once you get to a certain point, you want to make it easier because you've gone past that, all that pain, that stage, and you've kind of yep. got it. Yep. But just a couple of little things can just make it easier, easier on your on your back and shoulders and whatnot. So That's it. So you might still do your three, 300, yeah, 350. Yeah, might, your numbers might not go up. You just might find it a lot easier. Yeah, find I, it easier. And cruise along. And obviously, my long term goal is to be beating Archie, but just because, like, I. Sheeran, it's funny, Stuart, who uh, we're going to speak to as well, he was talking to me about setting goals. That's a great thing for new shearers, and any shearer, I suppose, mm -hmm. is, is to set goals, or even if it's just a goal for the day. Get a nemesis. Or get a nemesis like I've got <laughs> with Archie, yeah. But it's true, though, isn't it? You, oh, I definitely. You, you get someone, like you're shearing on the board, you say, right, today, so say I shear with Archie, for example, I keep using him, but say yesterday was 20 ahead, I'm like that, right, today I'm staying within 10. And it's like short-term goals and long-term goals yeah. are big things in shearing. What's your long-term goal just now? Just to teach as many people as I can. Yeah, keep growing this Sheeran School brand. Keep growing the brand, yeah. Yep. Oh, Help people, a lot of people are asking me questions through YouTube, Instagram, Facebook on just footwork and simple questions like how not to cut their hand in a certain area. So I give them an answer and it's it's nice to see people respond and saying thanks, your videos help. So yep. And it's good to know more. like anyone who wants to know stuff about Sheeran. I know I get a lot of messages too, but really I would direct any messages about Sheeran to Robbie at the Sheeran School because, well, he actually knows what he's talking about with Sheeran. I can get round the sheep and I'm getting a wee bit better all the time, I feel, through some good coaching. But I still, a lot of the time, it's, it's a different level altogether for people like Robbie that can watch you shear and know where you're going wrong. Whereas for me to actually put into my head and work out what I'm doing wrong is quite a struggle. It's a, that's why it's good to come to these courses and have an expert like Robbie and Andy there as well. Who's, yeah. Andy's a bloody good assistant to have as well, eh? Oh, very good, eh? A he's, really able shearer. Very, very critical, it helps. <laughs> oh, he's ruthless, man. <laughs> he is ruthless. Yeah. But he is good. He's also got that eye for finding out, you know, what's yep. wrong and yep. how to improve it. So We can watch different things. Andy can watch your footwork, I can watch your left hand. Mm -hmm. And then we put it together to see what's right and wrong. Yeah, yeah. And again, that adds to the value. I think the fact there's two good instructors here on this course, really, you know, giving you plenty of help, plenty of assistance. So it's been a fantastic course. I've learned a lot. My shearing's got a lot better. Check out Robbie's uh, Facebook page, YouTube, Shearing School. All the links will be in the description below here. Everything we're putting on today is run by him with the help of Andy sorting out the sheep in the venue here. So See. look him out. Links below. You'll love his stuff. Tell me to the Abby. <laughs>
So where have you been today? Uh, school. School, was it good? No. Did you learn anything? No. No, okay. And do you learn things on the farm? Yeah. Are you going to be a farmer? Yeah. And when uh, you both got old enough, are you just going to work together? Maybe. See, this is Ben. Ben's a bit, being a bit camera shy, but he absolutely loves it. He's a big sheep fan, but he loves it. He's being a bit camera shy here. So Archie, are you and Ben going to work together, Will? Yeah, Yeah. Maybe. Just because, like I mean, your father, he'll be expecting you boys to step up and take over just the next couple of years. What age are you? Six. Six? Yeah. Quite handy, six. And what age are you, Ben? Ten. 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 Six. Ben. Ben ten. Ben ten. And this year I'm going to be seven. Six and ten. This year is going to be seven. And they're hardly boys here. <laughs> See that? That's quite good. He's not. That slides over the top, does it not? What? Does that not slide over the top? Oh, no, it doesn't. Man. You're right. No, you're right. You're right. Does it? <laughs> Open it. Take all of them. <laughs> ben, let me through. Good enough. You have it. What? <laughs> <laughs> not a bad team for a combined age of 16 I would say they're doing not too bad they are keeping the sheep handy as well because 6 year olds how much do you get paid Archie? not really not I want to go share with him you want to go share with who? Andy your dad? yes <laughs> well, I want to get paid when I get, go share with him and it, and it gives you pe who, not, he doesn't pay you though, the farmer no, pays you? Yeah, farmer pays me. And you keep chasing the sheep up? Yep. Yeah. It's some buzz though, isn't it? What do you do with all your money? <laughs> I don't know. Do you, uh, he takes it away from me. Oh, just watch, he's coming. I was going to ask, do you get any of the windmill? And windmill see the windmill, do you get any of the money from that? No. No, no yet though, one day. One day, that's what you need to stick in for. And that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed it, thanks for making it this far, I know it was a longer video but I thought it was a really good one, I learned a lot from Robbie and Andy that day, it's been making my season much easier again, I'll go on that same course again next year and probably the year after that, it's so beneficial, but the most important thing is that you guys enjoyed it, see you for the next one cheap fans. <laughs>